Hello, my name is Jay Haskamp, and I would like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's session, we will talk about configuring a Trimble R10 to output an NMEA message using the web user interface. There are several steps to this process. First, we will enable the R10's Wi-Fi. We will accomplish this by configuring the Wi-Fi settings through Trimble Access and then restarting the R10 to initiate the Wi-Fi broadcast. Then we'll configure the NMEA message using the web user interface. First we will connect our computer to the R10 Wi-Fi access point, open up the web user interface, and configure our NMEA output. Then in Trimble Access we will pick Instrument and Receiver Settings once we are connected to our R10 GNSS and on the bottom of the screen we will see a Wi-Fi soft key. Pick the soft key to access the Wi-Fi settings. Here you may see it's set to off or client, but for this instance we want to set access point as our current selection. You can change some of the default settings, but in this case we're going to leave them as they are. Pick enter and then pick back. At this time you will need to restart your R10 to initiate the Wi-Fi broadcast. On your computer, open up your wireless settings and choose the Trimble GNSS connection with the last four digits of the serial number. Once you are connected, go back in and hover over it again just to verify that you are connected to the receiver. Once you've verified you're connected to the receiver, open your web browser and type in the IP address of 192.168.142.1.1. You will be asked to log in. By default, the username is admin and the password is password. However, this can be changed later. Once you pick login, you will be brought to the web user interface. From the menu on the left, choose the I.O. configuration. Choose the serial LIMO port from the list to configure the NEMA output on the black LIMO port of the R10. In the LIMO configuration, you will verify that you are using Serial 1 LIMO and from the drop down list change it from CMR to NMEA. Here is where you can set your serial port output baud rate and parity as well as the desired NEMA strings you wish to output and the frequency of those strings. The types of desired NMEA output strings may vary depending upon the third party application or software you are going to output the NMEA strings to. Below we have some other NMEA settings, but once we are happy with what we have, simply pick the OK button to save the changes. Once you choose OK, you will be brought back to the I.O. configuration screen, and here under the serial LIMO port, you will see your selected NMEA outputs displayed on the screen. Your Trimble R10 is now configured to output NMEA. That concludes our Frontier Precision Tech Talk on outputting NMEA out of a Trimble R10. Hopefully you have found this beneficial and will join us again next time. Thank you.